Today, Cristiano Ronaldo is a global figure, but in childhood and adolescence, the Portuguese experienced a lot of pain. An early move to the Lisbon Sporting Academy, school bullying because of his island accent, people from Madeira were immediately recognized in the capital, and Cristiano suffered a lot because of that, calling and complaining to his mother. Cristiano's appearance was also significantly different. Ronaldo in his youth is far from a stunning man, rather an ugly duckling who was about to grow and became a beautiful swan. Subsequently, Cristiano was ignored by girls from time to time, which is now very difficult to believe. Today we will show you a telling example of the matter. Sit back and relax, as we are getting started! The love story of Cristiano Ronaldo and Marichu Romero began in January 2005. The 19-year-old Portuguese had his second season at Manchester United and was considered a rising star, but couldn't justify the high stakes on him. Young and daring Cristiano was rather remembered for the unsuccessful acts of dribbling and ridiculous simulations than for useful actions. In general, that football period of CR7's life can hardly be called a successful one. The only success perhaps should be considered the fact that he managed to convince Sir Alex Ferguson of his prospects and the legendary coach of Manchester United gave the young star a chance over and over again. In his first two seasons at Old Trafford, he played 90 matches, scored 15 goals and gave 18 assists. Not bad, but still not enough for the expectations of Man United supporters which were sincerely waiting for the transfer of the young Portuguese talent. It was in the middle of the season in the Manchester United squad that Merche Romero appeared in Ronaldo's life. Merche Romero is a Portuguese model. Well, how could it be otherwise? Top football and modeling are always closely intertwined. Merche also managed to find herself as a TV presenter and DJ. And it so happened that a 29-year-old girl started dating a guy who is about to turn 20. The couple was dating for one year and eight months. They broke up in September 2006. It's quite some time, wouldn't you agree? Cristiano was often seen with Merchi at various resorts and public places. The romance developed very rapidly and the girl quickly earned the love and trust of the main woman in Cristiano's life, his mother. In the family of Ronaldo, Merchi very quickly started to feel comfortable. You can find several photos with a smiling girl, Cristiano's mother, and sisters. Moreover, Ronaldo himself was pretty happy. Later, after breaking up, Cristiano will say that he cried because of the broken love and it seems that the breakup with Romero is one of those cases. In 2009, Merchi commented on Ronaldo's words about unrequited love. Crying for someone doesn't mean that we have a real feeling for that person. We are all good actors when we want it. The Portuguese magazine Vidas quotes the girl. Quite a strange comment after a supposedly pretty peachy romance, don't you think? So what caused the couple to break up? According to Portuguese media, Merchi left Ronaldo for her ex-boyfriend, Walter Carvalho. It turned out that the Portuguese model is a big lover of nightlife. Parties, spectacular public appearances, flirting with men… All this is an integral part of Merchi's life. Cristiano's agent and closest friend, Jorge Mendes, noticed the girl's bad influence on Ronaldo's career and he was one of those who advised Cristiano to end his relationship. Ronaldo's mother, Dolores Aveiro, was enraged because of the behavior of the misfired bride. If he wasn't a player, he certainly didn't date him. Ok, in a world of little ones, this is all interest. Portuguese magazine Flash quoted Ronaldo's mother. Two weeks after breaking up with Cristiano, Merchi drove off to Ibiza with her ex and had a great time. Not even my mother knows everything what I went through with Cristiano. But I'm not going to talk about Ronaldo anymore. Shared Merchi in a comment to Vitas magazine in October 2009. With these words, the girl gives us some kind of hint. Cristiano was not the saint in this relationship. Indeed, young Ronaldo was often mentioned in talks about the hottest womanizers on the planet. Nevertheless, it is possible that it was the girl who provoked Cristiano with her parting. From that moment, Ronaldo has had many girls, many trophies, many goals, and many, many titles in his life. 
Cristiano didn't give up and now he is one of the best footballers in the history of football and one of the most successful men on the planet. Mercha Romero didn't believe in the uniqueness of the Cristiano back then and now she seems to have lost her own portion of happiness. Now the handsome Ronaldo is happy with Georgina. The couple is raising four children and will probably get married soon. Friends, believe in yourself. Even when the whole world is against you like Cristiano Ronaldo does, give him a like for that. It was Inside Football. We watch football from a different angle. Have a nice one and see you in a bit.